it just seems like this year I'm probably just not going to buy 2K21. And I have reasons of why I don't want to buy 2K21 is because the game itself, it just, it's so, first of all, the new jump shot is just not for me as far as anything. Like, I'm going to keep it a honey. And I've been exploring this new build that I actually have on here on camera. Um, it will show you some dunks, some highlights, maybe some some buzzer beaters maybe around that part but basically this build is an interior finisher and the reason i actually use these type of uh, finishers is because um i was basing it around how i would do if i was ready to play for the nba that was mostly my suggestion as a person who wanted to play for the nba but um i fell in love with this and I decided to test it on 2k21 um, if you haven't seen that go and check it out um, it will explain everything but to sum it up um, the interior finisher is just no more man like no matter what you do for the interior finisher it's just not gonna be worth uh, using like it's already a struggle to shoot threes or already a struggle to like even even if you have like the catch and shoot badge or anything like that it just won't work and the expectation of you trying to do all that is just terrible. It just won't work that way. Like, you have so much going on into the 2K community. All they care about is shooting threes. And those are mostly slashers or um, uh, two-way sharpshooters or maybe some pure sharps. And some of the big men that was actually playing there, are mostly demigods, will probably... Or probably not adapt to it but for me interior finishing was all I always do like I always shoot twos and all that stuff that was just mostly me so that's why I based this build around how I played especially when I was like at least a kid but here's the thing a lot of people don't really realize that when I try to at least play to this standard it won't do much but I will say this to y'all and Number one, I'm not that tall. Number two, I wish I was this tall to, like, dunk like this. Seriously. <laughs> but anyways, um, back to the topic. What I'm trying to say is, the interior finisher is just nothing at this point in 2K21. It's just nothing. Like, if you're trying to do interior finishing, it is probably going to be the only thing you're going to have to do, like... Trying to make, like, a Tim Duncan or a Dirk Nowinski build, it's just going to be, like, one of the worst builds um, in 2K21. Because no matter what you do, it just won't be worth um, grinding. Because, first of all, you have to protect perfect every shot, which is something that you have to adapt and get used to. That's fair. The issue is with it, though, is the fact that it will be like one of the toughest decisions to make if you're willing to be a big man to go into the paint and um, step it up. Now, the issue with my um, personal preference with it was the fact that the build itself was not able to shoot correctly. Like, no matter how many times you shoot at, shoot out threes or twos. It just wouldn't do anything, and it made it so much worse to shoot because the amount of times you try to shoot, it just won't, like, go to green. Like, you guys literally asked for this, and I don't know why you guys were complaining because you guys asked for them to only allow, like, whites to miss, specifically whites to miss. So it's not a surprise that we're going to do this. Like, come on, really? Like, this is why I'm probably just not going to get 2K at all. Like, I don't have a build this year to play on. And to be honest, the interior finisher is something that I've actually, like, fell in love with since, two, since I got 2K20. So, yeah. <laughs>